I think really hard because I think that would be really cool on my shelf. Freak my kids out. That would be the best part. Well, today I am at Black Rose of Hanover. Let's head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, starting here with the Island of Treasures that we usually can't buy and flip for a profit, but we admire anyway. <laughs> Every single time. This is the Mission Real Fruit Juice Sweetened. And all that fountain. Really loving those vases. 65 for the pair of vases. Behave yourself, Jocelyn. You don't need those. Oh, it looks like that booth is cleared out. We're gonna check out this booth. This booth has been good to us in the past. Kathy Bolong. Design clay work. I can't remember if I was here before Christmas. Christmas was such a blur this year. It was crazy. Just scanning the booth to see if I spot anything new. Oh, Anderson Pottery, was this here before? $14? Anderson Pottery Seal? Okay, you can come home with us. I don't think you were here last time because if you were here, you would have come home with me. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I collect Anderson Pottery. I don't collect the marine life. I collect the woodland creatures, the owls, the chipmunks. I even have a few cats. And actually, I have a dove or two, but... <laughs> I don't have any of the marine life. Um, so those ones I usually buy and flip. These cows in the back make me think of my friend Mary. <laughs> she helps manage my Facebook page and my Facebook group. We've even done a few videos together. She has um, an eBay shop, Merryweather Market. It's linked down below under shop with my friends and if you haven't checked it out, you totally should. But uh, she collects cow creamers. That's why I was like, hey, look. <laughs> Every time I see cow creamers, I think of Mary. Those are cute. The purple ones are always so funny to me because I don't think I've ever seen a purple cow. What do we have here? Hmm. Um, so these are um, dog tag licenses. And I actually, <laughs> this is funny. Um, so when I used to be really heavy into metal detecting, I actually have a secondary channel called Relic Recoverist, and that was my original channel. I think I have about 80 something thousand subscribers on that channel. Um, anyway, long story. Um, so that was my original channel, and then I kind of got into doing the crazy lamp lady stuff. Um, but I used to dig these when I was metal detecting, and through that, found out that these can actually be worth money. Um, so looks like they have $15 on this. These ones are $15. And um, those are old Pennsylvania dog tag licenses. There's no way that that's 18 set. No, that I was gonna say, there's no way that's 18 set. That's 1976. Some of the older ones, like the 1800s ones, those can be worth a ton of money. Um, I think the 1950s ones can be worth, these are like 1970s. I don't know if those ones are really worth it focuses for you guys. You can see here is an 1880s dog tag license sold for $404. That one is um, San Francisco, California. Maybe if it works for you. So, I guess that's really the only big one. But there can be money in the dog tag dog tag. <laughs> Tag licenses. <laughs> oh gosh. So there you go. We're gonna move on now. Oh my gosh, look at the Sharpays. Sharpay salt and pepper shakers. A little bit of temptations, although however I am not tempted one bit. Alright, 
we're gonna move around to this booth. I really like this booth a lot. Looks like they don't have Christmas much. Well, they have a little bit of more. They have a little bit of Christmas, but not as much Christmas that was here the last time I was here. These are adorable. Googly eye, do they still? No, they don't. I don't think I've ever found one of these that was working. They're supposed to make a noise when you tip them over to pour out your shoulder pepper. Maybe these guys work. No, negative. What is this? Annalie Collector doll. Annalie Glass Dome, $75 for them. That is so cool. What? That is neat. If ever I was going to buy an Annalie to keep for myself, this would be the one. This is neat. I'm very tempted right now. Forget the temptations. This to me is tempting. Annalie Collector Doll. 1990 Annalie Mobility Dolls. What is even numbered? 606. Hmm. It's firm, so it's not 15% off. It's just straight up. $75. Let me keep browsing. I'm going to think about this. I think really hard because I think that would be really cool on my shelf. Freak my kids out. That would be the best part. Alright, I stepped off to the side to look it up <laughs> because I had to feel confident in my decision, you know? Um, and I found it. It sold on September 14th, 2022 for $179. So if I decided that I wanted to turn around and sell it, if it freaked out the kids too much, let's say, um, I could make money on it. And I feel like that's what's most important in making this decision. <laughs> right? Although here it is down here, sold in 2020 for 70 bucks. But the most recent one, most recently it sold for 180. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the most recent comp. Right, so it made its way into the cart, and uh, we're gonna keep on shopping. I usually check over these shelves, they're usually pretty reasonably priced, with the exception of a few things. I remember the photograph over here was pretty, pretty high the last time. I did get a painting out of here once for three bucks. I hung it up for a little while, and then. And then it got booted when I bought a piece I liked more, <laughs> which seems to be the case with a lot of my artwork. Now this is one of our favoritest booths. Don't tell anyone else. Um, okay, <laughs> I love this thing. That's really fun. It's an art glass of some sort. And there's lights inside, but I don't know how to get them to light up. And that kind of looks like poppies. Picture Japan. Oh, I was gonna say I'm surprised it's not chipped, but then I noticed there's a little bit of a flea bite on the edge. Now, some of you are asking what a flea bite is, and it's a nice way of saying that there's a very tiny chip, as opposed to saying there's a chip. A chip is like a a big chip. A flea bite is like a tiny little a little guy. All right. Didn't see much in here today, but that's okay. There's always next time. Keep going this way. Okay, well the last time I was here, I left off at this booth because I found some really great stuff here in this booth. I don't remember this being here, or maybe it was, and I was so focused on everything else, I missed it. Pretty green opalescent bowl, $15.50. Don't see any discounts on it though. Here are some glasses that might be interesting, $18.50. Every time I find these, I can never remember the name of the person who makes these. Bormioli? Hmm, it's a scam to me just like that. <laughs> Bormioli. Um, actually, are they marked? No, they're not. Um, born newly. Those are good. Those are going in our cart. 
$18.50 on the board meal glasses. Four of those. Coming back to this booth, <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. I'm just going to pose a question. Booth etiquette. Okay, when you are browsing a booth that's maybe kind of like close quarters, do you wait until like somebody's done looking before you step into the booth, or do you go into the booth when another person is looking? Like, what is booth etiquette? Because when I'm looking in a booth, I prefer to like have my space. And when somebody else is looking at a booth, I wait until that person's done and I give them their space. Like, that's how I perceive booth etiquette. But I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just like a free-for-all. Like, everybody come in. There's room for everybody. Let's all just pile in and get a look at stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. I just, I've always, I've always known it that way. Just let everybody else have their space. You give me my space, but maybe I'm just weird. Nine dollars on this. Um, I really love this. I find this to be elegant. I love the coral pattern on that. It's kind of a nautical look. I like this more than the green opalescent yeah, because of the company. pattern. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up for nine versus um, the green opalescent because it's more elegant. Okay, so this booth is finally clear. There were people in here, so I waited. Then I went down the row, and now I'm coming back because it's empty. See? See how I did that? Um, there's a Ellie Smith yellow bird up here, and I like the yellow. We saw it recently in um, a satin finish. I left it at Goodwill because I'm just not a fan of the satin finish, but I do like this yellow. It's very pretty. Around $10 on this. I feel like that's worth picking up for $10. I and mean, there's not a ton of room on that, but there's some. Let's stick that in here. Um, the cart is a little precarious. It's making me a little nervous, if I, if I have to admit. But I don't think we're going to be here much longer, so um, <laughs> I'm not terribly, terribly nervous. All right, let's see what else we can find. a redware crock. Ooh, carefully. Wisconsin pottery. Didn't think I've heard of them before. Oh, goodness. This looks like Salmon Falls. I feel like we've picked that up before. Oh, it's BBP. Look at that. BBP um, copied the blueberry pattern. That's a uh, kind of reminiscent of the Salmon Falls. Okay. <laughs> this set here is only $5. Five. Six piece set, $5. I would be stupid. I would be stupid to walk away and say, okay, I'm leaving that. It's a berry set, so there's a master bowl. And then you have your uh, smaller bowls here. Not sure what that pattern is off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna guess because I don't don't want to give you wrong information. <laughs> I try not to do that. Um, but I think we're gonna grab that for only five dollars. Okay, let's check the outside real quick before we move on. Make sure we didn't miss anything. There are a ton of celluloid critters out here. Five dollars a piece on those. Those are pretty neat, but I don't know how much those sell for. I've never bought and sold those. Alright, so I don't think I've ever looked through this booth before. <laughs> I think I came in here once and found the prices to be a little high, and then I was always like, I don't know. But, $14 on this is not too bad. I've got, again, a few flea bites, but it loves the color contrast, and... Um, the legs seem to be in good condition, so I think I'm going to grab that. Let's see what else we can find. A lot of those willow figurines back there. You guys are always on my case about passing up at the Goodwill. I do have to look up comps and like see what which of those are 
valuable because I've never dealt in those before. Check out this little bear. Hand carved by something crops, Canada. He kind of reminded me of Whitco. So this puppy dog has been here forever and ever and ever. And I told my friend Donna from Moondoggy Coffee that if he was here the next time I came shopping, that I would buy him for her Basset Hound rescue auctions. Because <laughs> I sent her a picture, I'm like, I think this might be a Basset Hound. She's like, yep, that's a Basset Hound buy him so um he's gonna go to her basset hound rescues um and she runs auctions for a ton of different basset hound uh, rescues not just one in particular but um i love him in here. this is adorable too i guess this is the local artist who does these Paper, clay, snowman ornament. She usually has like a whole bunch of different figurines in here, but um, I guess that's it. Got cleared out. So, this guy's been here for a very long time and now he's going to find a home. <laughs> All right, here I am, back in the car. Um, so, our total spend was $187. Um, and I think we did all right. Um, the Bormioli Roco glasses are worth between 50 and 60 bucks for the set of four. So that was a good score. I mean, it was, they kind of fly under the radar. Not many people know about those. I picked those up very early on in my reselling like way early on and it was actually here in Hanover at the original Goodwill um, just because I thought they were pretty and then they turned out to be valuable and I was like what? Um, so I learned about those very early on and um, I've kept them locked back here ever since um, so those were pretty cool and then the more I thought about that Annalie I'm like what am I doing? why am I buying this? so I think I may just like I may just list that it'll be a buy it now but I'm like, <laughs> I was just looking at it and I'm like, you don't need this. <laughs> what are you going to do with this? <laughs> Am I going to put it on my shelf? Is it, it would be a conversation starter for sure. But I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll decide when it comes down to like, am I going to list this? Am I going to keep this? I do need to get my kids reaction of it though. I think if they're like, oh, that's so cute. Let's put it on our shelf. Maybe we will put it on our shelf, but I don't think that's the reaction they're going to have. So anyway um I'll, I'll show you their reaction before i end this video i think that needs to happen um but otherwise i'll see you guys tomorrow what do you think of it i was gonna put it in your room no. why <laughs> why what's wrong with it it's cute Put it in Laurel's room. You don't like it? I like it, but I just want it in my room. Is that your nice way of saying it's creepy? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> okay. What do you think? For a living room? You put it on the shelf. Do you like it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? It's cute. Why? <laughs> Is that Liberace? No. <laughs> Ashton says he doesn't want it in his room. Yeah, I don't really want it in the house. Why? It's cute. 
Remind me of like a character out of Law and Order SVU. Is that what you're watching right now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Laurel likes it. Do you want it in your room? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Are you looking at your Duplo through a magnifying glass? Yeah. Hi. Everybody's gonna be like, why are you wearing gloves? Because you have to wear gloves when you watch Law & Order SVU. It's true. It's the only way to watch it. Can't leave any evidence.